Um, so I was born in Figueira uh, in 86 um, and I've only uh, moved out of Figueira when I was around 18 years old um, to study in Lisbon um, and I stayed there for around seven, uh, seven years. Uh, but during my childhood, mainly the only place where I could uh, see some art would be the municipal um, museum, so Museum Santos Rocha. Um, only um, 20 years ago the Centro de Artes e Espetáculos was created uh, and then I felt that would be one pl more place to, to see art. Even though there was, there has always been a gallery in Figueira called the Rastro, um, it's, it's a very small gallery and it's also um, a commercial gallery so you always feel there's a, a barrier of you coming in because um, you feel the pressure of having to buy art because okay. it's a gallery with um, paintings from famous painters so it can feel a bit um, intimidating even to this day um, but it's a, sp a space that people could always visit and they can continue visiting in, in, in Figueira just to see some good art. Um, but I have always felt that in Figueira we're missing some places where we can that are more inviting uh, naturally for people to come and, and see art, very different from um, an institutional gallery or commercial um, gallery. So when, um, when I left uh, Figueira, uh, when I was 18, uh, to Lisbon, then I started uh, contacting with um, a space that had a lot of galleries, a lot of museums that were very welcoming to see art, and I felt a huge difference from Figueira, a small space where we didn't have a lot of um, um, places where we could go and see art. Um, then in 2012 I've moved to London um, and then I've contacted even more with the museums and uh, galleries and different ways of presenting art um, and I've lived there uh, from 2012 up until 2020. That's when I decided to come to, to Figueira. Yeah. So 2020, we're all locked up in our houses. Um, the perspective was not great in terms of that year. Um, people were still very afraid of um, coming out of their houses to do their daily tasks like going to the supermarket. Um, but even though that was happening, at the same time, um, Specifically, my mum, um, she initiated a bit Umarco because uh, my family has a house in Buarcos um, that was not being used. So the tenants had just left um, and the house um, was a bit um, worn out um, and um, didn't have any light. Uh, the water was from uh, a well. Uh, <laughs> so we, uh, my mum uh, started painting up the space and tidying up a bit. Um, and because she was also unemployed because of COVID, she's a tourist guide, so there was no tourist. Um, she asked, what, what do you think of doing an art gallery here? Uh, because I've always enjoyed art. Uh, my um, partner Bruno is an artist as well. And because the, the perspectives were, okay, we don't know what's going to happen this year. Um, so at least let's going to do something for ourselves that we enjoy. Um, and also for other people, of course, the, the idea was to open the house for people to come in and visit in such um, strange times. Uh, we're actually inviting people to our house. <laughs> people are like avoiding people and like, come to our house. <laughs> but um, uh, also it had a patio, so it had an exterior place where uh, people could feel a bit, they didn't have to st uh, stay stuck in the house. They could visit the house, but there was a space outside to, um, to do some gathering which was uh, resulted quite quite well as well um, so the idea was very informal we just started inviting a few friends that we knew that were artists um, and uh, it, it developed a bit, a bit from there from co starting to contact more people and then realizing um, Actually, there's a lot of artists in Figueira, especially because we we maintained when we were away, so it was for almost nine years, we still maintained a bit of contact with a few people from here, but only when we returned, we started talking more with people and doing the networking to, um, to have more artists um, um, exhibiting with us. And we felt that um, 
it really worked starting to talk with people more projects more people would come up with uh, with pieces and that was quite good because we had a very diverse um, public and a very diverse mix of artists visiting us which was very cool yeah <laughs> um, so my mom spent a lot of time there it was also it was good for her in a sense because she had uh, an occupation when nothing was happening um, so um, she my dad even my brother everyone pinched in a bit and gave a bit of, of, the, of their work for it to work and then when we actually opened throughout the, the summer it was um, either my mom and my dad they were pretty there um, almost every day um, Bruno as well and I was working at the same time as well so every time I had time I would be there as well we all worked together to try to be there we were doing it at our own time um, it was it, it is a completely independent project in the sense of uh, it's just as our way to to do stuff um, and we don't have any 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 funding um, so we really felt uh, we were giving a lot um, we, we were a bit tired as well because we tried to open it pretty much every single day we didn't have a schedule or anything we would just open uh, kind of whenever we wanted um, also considering that we didn't add any light in the beginning uh, we had to close pretty much when it started to get dark which is in the, in the summer it's amazing because we can close around at 8 30 in the in the afternoon um, and it's totally fine um, but we also felt the fact of being independent um, it was very good there was a huge um, um, factor of um, liberty and independency uh, we were just doing what we wanted to do not having to follow any guidelines uh, from from anyone so it was really uh, our project sometimes it was also a bit chaotic yeah. uh, because different people working uh, on the same space they want to do different things not everyone agrees so that was also a good part of the um, of the challenge um, the reason why it's called U Marco it's because it's um, in a street in Varcos called Rua do Marco so um, that's uh, we kept saying oh are you going to Marco are you going to Marco and the name of the um, of, of the collective started like that so in the beginning it was a house uh, it, but uh, um, after we've closed the house then we've maintained the name uh, Umarco for the uh, for the artist collective to do other things outside the, the house it was a very um, good project uh, but it was also we also felt it's it takes a lot of time from us so um, because also we didn't have enough money to invest in the house to make it more functional for winter we, did, we decided to just not continuing the project over there uh, so it was quite fun to see this summer a lot of people were asking so are, is it going to open is it going to open uh, but we, we didn't have the means um, and the availability to do it this this year so we decided not to, not to open the house this this year um, but to, we continue as a group doing some um, some activities we've um, uh, had a partnership with Tua Cara, um, which means we did a few activities throughout the summer with them. Uh, and for example, we just participated in an um, art market in Cantanied very recently, where, where we had a few artists um, with a few pieces uh, going there and participating. So um, we've done a few punctual events here and there. But uh, one of the things that I really, really enjoyed also from Umarco, the, the house project, was that people were not really um, afraid of getting in the house like in a in a gallery sometimes people will be like oh no that's not for me uh, because it's a hard gallery and over there even the uh, the neighbors from the street they would come and they will they were like I want to see the house so can, can I come in and people felt very welcomed in the in the space not like they were entering a formal space to see art no they were going to see the house and on top of that they were going to see some some art so it was very refreshing to see that people from all ages all ty types of life they they visited us and that was very reward rewarding for for us um, so just coming back to your hometown after such a long time, coming from a very busy city like London, full of art, full of everything, it was very rewarding to see that we could do it in here as well. Different scale, but um, definitely people want to see art, want to see things that, that move them. They might not like this piece or that one, but they will always find something that they, they like. Yeah.
it was informal uh, exactly people had just left that house very recently so uh, people live there a um, few months just just before so I th maybe that's why it was so welcoming because you felt even though there was no furniture pretty much or anything like the people felt they were coming into a house and i think that's very welcoming uh, to yeah. feel to feel at home while we're seeing art yeah i think it had um, the effect of people um seeing it and realizing it's it's possible to do something like this uh, and people will actually connect to it so i think uh, it might have inspired other people or even the artists that participated um, with us uh, throughout marco i think it gave them the sense of it can be done it, it takes time it takes money it takes effort but it it can be done and people actually will turn up. Uh, that's also what surprised us, as that people, they kept on, on coming and they wanted to know, oh, so what's happening this, this weekend? Because sometimes we would try to have um, live music uh, or li and, and live painting as well. So people actually starting getting into the habit of going to the, to the house. So that felt, uh, that felt very rewarding as well. And it also, I think, uh, gave the, the feeling to other people and artists that it can be done. Yeah, you, you just need to do it. <laughs> We've done our best to try to um, um, communicate that we were there for a lot of people to find us, even though it, it even though it was so close to the to the to the beach, for example, uh, like three minutes, you are down in Barco Center. Mm. Uh, it's still not easy to navigate in in Barco, so. We've always tried to have maps in, in our flyers as well um, and try to spread the flyers throughout Figueira in a few places. Um, that's one of the things we could have insisted in even more because we, we felt that it actually worked. Leaving it in a, like in a papelaria or in a tobacco shop, for example, okay. it's a place that a lot of people go and that if we had invested more in that, we would have even more people visiting us. But at the same time, we were paying for the advertising so yeah, it's it. limited means yeah of course i think once people got to talk about it more people will be like oh i haven't visited marco yet i need to go there this weekend and we kept on saying um, it's a temporary project and it's gonna, going to close in August and no one really listened and it's like why is it shut like we we, we said it's gonna shut <laughs> we cannot keep it on going on forever um, uh, so it was kind of cool to see that people were missing us and they were expecting us to continue the project um, so it means that people really really enjoyed it <laughs> I think that, that in, for the community I think the what what people can do it's when it when it does exist it's to turn up and get involved uh, because in terms of funding it's quite hard for the community to fund um, a project where you need a, a space you need to pay rent you need to pay bills um, so it, it's kind of it's I think it's hard for the community to come up with all of that so I think it's a bit spaces that already exist that uh, can have a new life like for example the space where we are right now um, I think that's the way to go to have partners to occupy places that are not really being used a lot um, to to do art um, so a lot of that comes uh, from trying to get funding from from the municipal um, from Cambra uh, or from your local Freguesia for example um, I think that's the the way to go forward in terms of getting the community involved but I think the really the role of the community is when something is happening go there visit it um, get involved because we cannot we don't live uh, if people don't actually interact with us. So there will be no future for a project if people are not really interested in getting in, involved. Yeah. I think that Marco would have worked really, really well if we had a bit more private uh, funding, uh, if we had any means to continue the project. I think people will, uh, would have con uh, continued to, to visit us. Um, but uh, it's quite a big project to rebuild the house, etc. So, um, but there might be funding for that actually I haven't really uh, researched it yet but there might be some funding to um, to rebuild a, a house if you have a project like that so it would be kind of interesting to to see that happening in the future who knows <laughs>